is Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So check rain has been updated to support iOS 14.5 on the older devices. So this is going to be uh, basically iPhone 10 and older. And something else that's really cool about this new update to check rain is it now supports the M1 Max, the, the Apple Silicon Max. I actually uh, just got one a couple of weeks ago. I got the M1 Mini here. Uh, so I haven't been able to use Checkrain um, since I got this machine, but it's pretty cool that it has been updated. Now, uh, I'm going to demo this jailbreak on my iPhone 7 Plus. And just a little disclaimer, this is actually on iOS 14.6. I do not recommend jailbreaking beta firmwares, but I was just doing some testing on this iPhone and I figured I would just leave it as is and not downgrade it because... Uh, it's really unnecessary, but this jailbreak will work on iOS 14.5. And as you guys will see, it's obviously going to work on the betas. Again, I do not advise jailbreaking a beta software. Uh, there is no reason for you guys to do it because every time there's an update to the beta version, um, it, it could just cause you a lot of issues. So uh, like I said, I'm only doing this for testing purposes and demonstration purposes. Uh, but like I said, this is how you can jailbreak iOS 14.5 on iPhone 10 and older, which is going to be A11 chip and older. So if you're curious about an iPad, uh, just Google which chip your iPad has. And if it has an A11 or older, like A10, A9, A8, etc., then you can use Checkrain. So we're going to go ahead and jump over to my computer now. All right. Now on the computer, as you guys can see here, we are on the Checkrain official website here. As you can see, jailbreak for iPhone 5S through iPhone 10, iOS 12 and up. And as you can see, here are the latest releases. And it was just released just a little bit ago here. Version 0.12.3 beta. And as you can see, support for iOS 14.5, preliminary support for M1 Max. You can read the announcement. We'll see how this jailbreak goes. I have not tested it yet, so we're going to learn how to do this on video. And... I did read the announcement and they were saying something about you might have to unplug the cable, the USB cable that you have your iPhone connected to, something like that. And as you can see, there's also new force revert command line option to force root file system reverting without access to the loader app. Uh, and then the included uh, bin pack has been updated and thinned. So some cool updates, some more bug fixes here. Uh, some notes, some known issues. So if you guys have any questions, be sure to just come to the official CheckRain website and check it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and install it. I already have it, but I'm just going to do it again to show you guys. So all you got to do is do download for Mac OS. We'll click on allow. This does work on Mac and Linux. It is possible to do this on Windows, but you need to boot your Windows machine into Linux. I don't have a Windows machine, so I'm sorry. I can't do uh, a tutorial on that, but just search Google, uh, or sorry, search YouTube. There's some, there's some good uh, tutorials out there showing you how to do it on Windows. But we're just gonna click the DMG here. It's going to open it up, and then I'm just gonna simply drag it into my applications. I already have it, but I'm just gonna do uh, replace. Now we can close out of the disk image. I'm gonna go ahead and eject both of them since I just did this. Eject both the disk images just so they're not there. We're gonna go ahead and open up finder here so we'll go into our applications and then you can see there is check rain right there now i do have my iphone connected to my m1 mini via usb right now through the lightning connector so uh, keep in mind you do need your device connected to your computer so what you want to do is right click on check rain click open and you'll get this message here it cannot be open just click cancel do it again right click open again and now we have the option to open it. So go ahead and click on open. And there you go. As you can see, uh, welcome to check rain. Sorry, iPhone 7 plus global is supported, but iOS 14.6 is not. Um, I can bypass that. But as you can see below that supported versions are 12.0 through 14.5. Now I'm just going to <clears throat> enable myself to do 14.6 so I can demonstrate this. Um, it's going to be the same process for 14.5. And I, actually, I'm going to turn on verbose boot if you guys don't know what that is that's basically where it shows um everything it's doing to jailbreak your iphone um it's just it's just a look thing it doesn't change any settings it just uh shows the jailbreak on the iphone and it looks sweet so what we're going to do is just click on start the device is running an ios version which was not confirmed that's fine we'll click ok 
The device needs to be put into DFU mode. So this is the same as the previous version. We'll just click on next here. And there my device is now going into DFU mode. Hopefully we have no issues doing this on 14.6. Like I said, I'm only doing it as demonstration purpose. I do not plan on doing a bunch of tweaks or anything on this iPhone. It's literally just to test it out. So now we need to put it into uh, our, so now we need to put it into DFU mode. And as you can see, there are some on-screen. Um, let me get rid of this. There are some on-screen uh, guides here or uh, instructions. So when you click start, what you're going to want to do is press and hold the side and volume down buttons together for four seconds, and then release the side button, but keep holding the volume down button. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. This is really quite easy. So we'll just go ahead and click on start. And then we got DFU mode successfully. Now it's going to begin the jailbreaking process on our iPhone. Hopefully we don't have to do any of this USB unplugging. Doesn't seem like it. So it seems to be working just fine on the M1. This is super exciting. The first jailbreak on the M1 mini guys. And let me tell you this, this Mac mini is an absolute beast. Highly recommend it. If you guys are, thinking about upgrading, uh, I would definitely recommend the M1. Of course, the M1 MacBooks are another amazing option. Okay, we're booted up, all done. It's a little weird. Let's unlock, let's see if we got, so we got feedback. Now, if it's anything like it was before, you just gotta wait a few seconds. Or is it over here? There we go, and it appeared. So yeah, you just just be patient. It does take it a few seconds for check rain to show up on the device for some reason. Uh, it's always been like that. It's a little weird. You come into your device and then you, you almost think it didn't jailbreak, but it did. So let's go into check rain. Let's install Cydia. Go ahead and install Cydia. Now I do want to mention guys um, that I'm sure Beetlejuice will be updated as well for this. So if you guys want um, to use uh, Cilio and not Cydia and use the, the Cilio features and um, everything they have to offer, that is going to be totally possible. And I'll probably do an updated video for that. Uh, just because for me, at least on the other jailbreaks, uh, like on this iPhone here, uh, Taurine with Cilio, um, and libhooker is just amazing. It runs so amazingly well uh, that I will probably switch to that. And like I said, you can do that with Check Rain. You just have to use the Beetlejuice and Odyssey Rain uh, program to do that. But as you can see, we got Cydia, and there you go. It is loading up. We're gonna have some changes. We'll probably have some sources fail. Maybe not. We did not, so I'll ignore it temporarily. Um, but there you go. As you can see, we got working Cydia. And again, this is on iOS 14.6. Uh, this will work this exactly the same for 14.5. Again, I do not advise getting on betas and testing out jailbreaks. It's just going to be a headache for you. Uh, but like I said, 14.5 is supported now. So hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.